Hey everybody, it's SuperGamer1121, and welcome back to p more Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we battled a lot of trainers on Route 3, and became a bad trainer ourselves. And now, with our Pokemon team fully healed, I believe, and Pikachu out in the front, we're going to enter our... I don't... I... I don't think Viridian Forest is really considered that much of a dungeon as this next area is considered much of a dungeon and much of annoyance by many Pokemon fans. Welcome to Mount Moon. Here you will be experiencing a lot of new Pokemon. And let's see what this TM is really quickly. TM 12, I believe this is. Uh, water Gun here. It's a very decent move. If I had a water type Pokemon, I would teach it to it. Um, for this early on in the stages. Um, and here's actually one of the new Pokemon that you can catch here in Mount Moon. One of them is Geodude, and that is, you obviously saw it in the battle against Rock, and is a very, can be a very decent Pokemon. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? What, what about me? And that didn't, I didn't even say anything. But anyway, uh, I'll quickly talk about the other Pokemon while we do this battle against this bug catcher here. The other Pokemon that you can catch here are Zubat. And as anybody knows, that is a very annoying Pokemon to run into here in this cave. And that's not to say that it's bad Pokemon. Um... Um, unfortunately, we don't have repels for this. Another Pokemon that you can catch here is Clefairy. Uh, Clefairy is a, can be a very good Pokemon if trained very well. Its defenses uh, can be very good. And um, a little bit of a difference here is you can catch Paris as well. I don't know what Pokemon you're switching to. You can also catch Paris, a uh, bug and grass type Pokemon. Um, here on this first floor, but if you're playing yellow, it's only in a certain area. And a different Pokemon that you can catch here, which I don't think we're as, we've really discussed, is Sandshrew. Actually, I think we could have caught, caught Sandshrew, and I mentioned it in the last episode. Is Sandshrew here only if you're playing yellow on this first floor? And that's basically all the Pokemon, and I will be cutting out random encounters and speeding up the Pokemon battles like I normally do and showing as many of the items that we can get here. And here's a potion right there for us. So potion and a water gun. That's good. What do we got here? Beware, Zubat is a blood sucker. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Pikachu fell asleep, and he won't wake up like he did with that Jigglypuff back in Pewter City. So, we're just gonna have to continue. Okay, we're not gonna have to continue on with Pikachu asleep, because I about just battle as a Zubat so I could get Pikachu back awake. Now, down here's a trainer. What? Don't sneak up on me. I actually think it was you who snuck up on me. I was just coming down to look for items. So, whatever. Whatever. Pokemon, uh, Magnemite and Voltorb. I won't be discussing them until we can actually catch them. Um, but in my opinion, ooh, Rare Candy. Rare Candy actually raises the level of 
your Pokemon by one, so that's a good item, but you probably won't see me using rare candies, because I like to train my Pokemon by myself, and there's a trainer battle down there that I just want to go get to without running into any Pokemon. We did it. Let's battle you. Go through this cave to get to Cerulean City, as if you didn't already know that. I didn't even have a chance to speak. As many veteran Pokemon trainers and Pokemon people know, Mount Moon is very infamous for its number of Zubats that you can encounter, and without the power of repels, it's even more annoying. Pokemon battle time? Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. and a bell sprout. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's con continue on here. There was a pair of stairs that I forgot to take. Okay. Yeah, there are different levels to this mountain moon. And there's one area that I didn't show here. There it is. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. This is the bottom floor where if you're playing yellow, you are able to catch a Paris down here. Now let's get to the end of this area. Made it. Who are you? We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. I said that really weird. Associates who won't stand for this. And we meet Team Rocket, some strange, strange organization. Oh, look, we get an HP up that increases the HP status of a Pokemon. Like, it increases their HP by one. I wish that was a PP up. Actually, like an Ether, an Ether. That's what I need at the moment. Because I do want to battle all the trainers in this place for experience. And I know a lot of them have Geodudes and Onyxes. Actually, it's not plural. Just Geodude and Onyx. And Mankey is the only one that can take them. And he won't be able to take them. Because especially if Low Kick is completely gone. But anyway, let's see what's down here. Aha, another one of you Pokemon, Pokemon Rocket Goons. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid.
If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. No, thank you. Here we can find an... Yes, and that's what I was looking for. Those increase the... Really quickly, those increase uh, your moves. Like if you're eight... If... Stop. Okay, wow, that was weird. Um, if your a if your PP, your power points are low, you can use an other to increase them again. And here, I believe, okay, TM01. I thought this was an Everstone. What does TM01 do? Mega Punch. That's actually a really good move. And I kind of feel like teaching it to Pikachu, but I'm not sure about that now let's get out of this area please yes okay we made it let's just get to a pokemon battle and speed it up and get through this did you come to explore too no i came to go all the way to cerulean city and not see any more zubats so if you have a zubat i'ma kill it and I killed you, so you're welcome. Now you don't have to run into any more. And then really quickly, I have to say something. This game loves to hand out critical hits like it's nobody's business. I don't understand why that is, but it is. Now let's continue on up, trainer. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Okay. Kids like you shouldn't be here. I can go wherever I want. I'm 10 years old, and according to the place, I can go wherever I want, because I'm a Pokemon trainer at 10 years old, because that logic makes absolutely no sense. And then we got a Moonstone, and I think we're going to end things off here on this episode, since I recorded about, like, 25 minutes, and then probably with, with editing, that makes this episode roughly maybe 13 minutes. I have no idea, but I think we're going to end things off here since we're about the, the halfway mark of Mount Moon. Um, and I'd like to save the rest of this for later. Um, so in the next Pokemon Yellow, we're going to continue the rest of the half of Mount Moon and figure out what this Team Rocket people are doing here and what their plans are up to. So see you then.